Hello friends and welcome to Fonadis Golf. Uh, when we film our tournaments, the usual setup is three cameras on monopods. The catch cam, the back cam and the motion cam. If we want to add a fourth camera with a gimbal, we usually put a DSLR camera because they are light and convenient. But with those new gimbals, you can even use big cinema uh, cameras like this Sony FX6 full frame. First of all, you need a good gimbal. This is a DJI RS3 Pro. It has longer uh, carbon fiber arms, so it's light. It has powerful motors, so it can hold these bigger uh, cameras. Uh, we're using, of course, a prime lens. This is a 35 millimeter 1.8 lens. You're not gonna use the zoom when you're using the gimbal, so don't put a zoom. Put a prime lens, it's cheaper, it's faster, and it's the way to go. Uh, second thing, you have to keep, of course, the weight to a minimum, not only the weight, but the moment of inertia. So that, that means keeping the equipment to a minimum, but also trying to put it as close as possible to the center of gravity. That means the microphone, the shotgun microphone, the, it's a big Sennheiser MKA 600, we don't put it on top, on the microphone holder, we just put it down here with an extra uh, shotgun microphone holder, those uh, rubber band ones, you just put it with a zip tie, it's, it's very easy. Uh, but you keep it very low and very close to the center of rotation, so the moment of elation is smaller and the works and the uh, motors don't have to work that hard. Uh, we use the monitor as a balancing. You, as you can see, you can balance it backward and forward. The idea is try to reduce the, the, the weight. Those are those counterweights which work very, very well. You put it here on that slider and use it to, to balance everything. But if you can go without weights, it's much better. So you can use the equipment that you have to try to balance. I'm even using my time code generator, my tentacle sync here. So you see that I'm full equipped now. Uh, of course, fix the cables uh, so that they are fixed in place because if the cables can mess around and they can even move a little bit of, of weight that can counterbalance everything. All the calvers, cables are uh, very well set. And you can use also those 90 degrees right angle connectors to make the, the you know, the pads the path, a uh, cleaner path, and try to avoid the arms to give more room for movement. I'm using it here in HDMI and on the mic. HDMI allows me to even go live because uh, this is a full uh, 4K 60 frames per second 2.0 HDMI cable, but this is a slim version. So, as you can see, it's very thin, very flexible, and it doesn't interfere with the movement of the gimbal. As you can see, the gimbal works great. I'm not going to do that extreme movement during a show, but as you can see, I can do whatever I want. And the flexibility of the cables goes here. And here I have the, the female jack, so I can put the big rocked <laughs> HDMI cable to the backpack with the transmission system, etc. Uh, of course, we are using uh, usually the, the smaller batteries to keep the, the weight low. And that's it. As you can see, you can even balance your big Sony FX6 cinema cameras on a, on a gimbal if you just keep in mind a couple of useful tips and you can even go live with it. See ya in Tonadis Golf.